In Solana's proof of stake mechanism, one lead validator at a time processes transactions and writes the network state. Other validators read the state, verify the transactions, and vote to confirm them. To maximize efficiency, Solana splits up the ledger into small sections, and validators take turns being leader about every 400 milliseconds. They switch according to a predetermined schedule, which is randomly generated based on how much they have staked and data from previous transactions. But under this mechanism, how can we ensure that all validators trade off leadership at the right time, and that malicious validators don't skip anyone else's turn to try to censor transactions? Proof of history solves this. To explain proof of history, we'll start with a quick overview of hash functions. A hash function maps any piece of data to a fixed size output. So for example, under the SHA-256 hash function, the hash of Anatoly will be some sequence of zeros and ones of length 256. Importantly, it is very hard to go backwards. These functions are one way. You can't guess that this hash came from Anatoly any faster than guessing every possible input. This is called pre-image resistance. In proof of history, validators prove time is passing by creating a table of these hashes. We start with any seed, like Anatoly, and compute the hash, hash1. Then we apply the hash function to hash1 to get hash2, and so on. Due to pre-image resistance, we can only compute this chain in series on one core. We always need to know hash k to compute hash k plus 1, so no one can generate a proof of history sequence faster than running a single core on a fast computer. But given the data up front, observers can verify all hashes are correct in parallel. With all validators producing a proof of history, they can trust us the exchange leadership according to schedule without communicating. By verifying V1's published proof of history, anyone can confirm that V1 started and finished publishing transactions at the correct time. We can also timestamp data. For example, by inputting some piece of external data like a tweet into the hash chain, we prove that data 1 existed before hash 2 was computed. Further, if we incorporate hash 1 into our data, we can prove data 1 was generated after hash 1. This allows everyone to trust the order of events without seeing them in real time. In summary, Proof of history improves block time because nodes can switch leadership without communicating, and provides a mechanism for trustless event ordering. It also helps with the finality of Solana's consensus. Check out Solana.com to learn more.